एवरी वन माई सेल्फ अमी मेहता एंड इन कॉम्प्यूटर नेटवर्क लेटेस्ट डिस्कस रैंडम एक्सेस प्रोटोकॉल विच इज प्योर अलोहा एंड स्लोटेड अलोहा प्रोटोकॉल सो फर्स्ट लेटेस्ट डिस्कस प्योर अलोहा प्रोटोकॉल सो प्योर अलोहा अलाउस यूजर टू ट्रांसमिट वेन एवर दे हैव डेटा टू बी सेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज अ मीडियम ऑन विच पर्टिक्युलर फाइव नोड्स आर देर एंड Uh, in a network suppose at a time for example second number of node wants to transfer data so in this method it transmit whenever they have data to be sent sender waits to see if a collision occurred so if there is any collision which means at a time more than one uh, node are sending their data okay so it is way to see if collision is occur and if collision occur each station involved waits a random amount of time then tries again so if it is notified that that collision is occurred then each node each station involved waits it means each station have to wait for a random amount of time and after that time uh in the station the node can send systems in which multiple users share a common channel in a way that can lead to conflicts are widely known as contention systems so uh in this system a multiple user share a common channel so that it leads to conflicts and which is known as contention system so this is station 1 the station 2 station 3 station 4 and this is a time duration not the channel okay the channel is same on a single channel it, they are transmitted so at this point of time there is only in a single channel there is only transferring frame 1.1 so there is no collision but in this portion frame 1.2 also transferring frame 2.1 frame 3.1 frame 4.1 so this is the collision duration again in this portion frame 2.2 is not completed yet and frame 4.1 is start sending so station 4 transmitting frame 4.2 and still frame 2.2 is not sending Uh, properly or the whole frame is not uh, sending so the collision is occur so this are the collision so this gray is a collision duration gray portion and this white portion this 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 are the collision free time duration so whenever two frames try to occupy the channel at the same time there will be a collision and both will be garbled if the first bit of a new frame overlap with just the last bit of a frame almost finished both frames will be totally destroyed and both will have to be retransmitted later so uh in this case frame 1.2 from 2 frame 2.1 frame 3.1 and for frame 4.1 is collision is collided overlap so uh this both this all frames will be totally destroyed and this all frame will have to be retransmitted later it means that first bit of new frame overlap with just the last bit of a frame almost finished then both frames will be totally destroyed and both will have to be retransmitted later so this is the pure aloha now let us discuss slotted aloha so slotted aloha was invented to improve the efficiency of pure aloha as chance of collision in pure aloha are very high so there is a high possibility of collision in pure aloha and in slotted aloha the time of the shared channel is divided into discrete intervals called slots so in time division 
multiple access protocol we are dividing the time slot same in slotted aloha the time of the shared channel is divided into discrete interval which is called slots so the station can send a frame only at the beginning of the slot and only one frame is sent in each slot so at the beginning of this slot the station can only send frame okay so now in slotted aloha if any station is not able to place the frame onto the channel at the beginning of the slot that means it misses the time slot then the station has to wait until the beginning of the next time slot so this is the example that we are dividing the channel into various time slot slot 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so in starting phase of this time duration slot 1 the station can send a frame so for example in slot 1 station 1 send frame 1.1 and uh, station 2 3 and 4 are not sending any frame at the starting phase of the uh, time slot 1 so there is no collision now the time slot 1 is complete now the second slot time slot 2 so in second time slot station 2 also send frame 2.1 in the initial phase and in station 3 also send frame 3.1 in the starting of the slot 2 so this is the actually collision is occur so the slot is collision duration in slot 3 in the starting time station 1 also send frame 1.2 and station 4 also send uh, frame 4.1 so there is again collision occur so slot 2 and 3 are the collision duration next in slot 4 what will happen only stations 2 sending the frame 2.2 at the initial phase so there is no collision same in slot 5 starting uh, duration uh, frame 4.2 will be sent by station 4 so again there is no collision because there is no other frame and in the last slot again station 3 send frame 3.2 now for example uh, uh, what happen in the pure aloha that more than two frames are collided because Uh, every station can send any time so frame 1.2 frame 2.41 frame 3.1 and frame 4.1 is collided so this all are frame destroyed and will have to send again now what happen in slotted aloha that the frame will be only sent at the beginning of the slot and only one frame is sent in each slot so that now what happen in this slotted aloha that uh, at the initial time duration uh, only station 1 is uh, ready to send and that it send now uh, it may happen that in some slot there are more than one frame are ready to send and they are sending so this is this slotted aloha so now what is the advantages of slotted aloha so a single active node can continuously transmit at full rate of channel so a slotted aloha is also highly decentralized because each node detects collision and independently decide when to retransmit so this is not centralized protocol and slotted aloha is also an extremely simple protocol now what is the disadvantages of slotted aloha so when there are multiple active nodes a certain fraction of the slot will have collision and will therefore be wasted there are maybe some ideal slots also because uh, in some because the frame only have to transmit in starting phase of the time slot so if uh, any station misses 
that particular time slot then they have to wait for another time slot so there are possibility that some slot will be idle next disadvantage is nodes may be able to detect collision in less than time to transmit packet and clock synchronization so these are the disadvantages of slotted aloha okay so this uh, this is the first two random access protocol pure aloha and slotted aloha okay thank you